Hi, my name is Justina Nam Oha. My name is Onusho Aribisala. Hi, my name is Ashley Emanuel, and I'm in Lagos Startup Week 2023. Hi, my name is Justina Nam Oha. I am founder and CEO of Digital Equity Africa. Um, digital Equity Africa is a digital inclusion consulting company. Um, we provide services for stakeholders in the digital economy of Africa, like government, international organizations, institutions that want to innovate and digitize, and the digital talent space. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that it's a fantastic time to be part of the ecosystem because you know, the world is experiencing innovation at a very high pace. Um, I started off in banking, which is really traditional. And, but if you look at um, the traditional sector and the tech e uh, ecosystem, there are a lot of alignments. So for example, when I was in banking, um, there was a product that was rolled out at the Den of Shenick Bank. And we had to sort of uh, find ways to include um, market women into the banking system. That's what we call digital inclusion today. Except that, um, you know, bankers would go collect their daily contribution in markets and things like that. Um, uh, you know, in terms of the, the drive for innovation, it's very similar, but the approach is definitely different. Um, I went into agency a bit as well and storytelling, and then I found myself in tech. I started off with um, Tizeti, uh, which is an internet service company. Uh, we can't really talk about digital penetration and digital inclusion or the digital economy without thinking about um, internet service and uh, rural access and things like that. So that really opened my eyes up to the power of the internet in transforming lives digitally. And then uh, after Tizeti, I, I moved to a company called Decagon. Decagon is a software training institute uh, that trains engineers and places them in the local and global market. I was a VP for partnerships there. And again, first hand, I saw the power of, you know, digital talent and I saw people come there earning 2,000 Naira a month in a village in Kaduna as teachers. And at the end of the program, they were earning in dollars in just under a year, uh, really transformational as well. Um, afterwards, I, I was a country manager for the UK Nigeria Tech Hub um, 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 under the British High Commission, where I sort of um, oversaw the team that managed the tech ecosystem within Nigeria. Uh, there's a lot of policy influencing work there with the government. You know, again, it just came full circle, right? The role of uh, internet, the role of talent, the role of stakeholders like the international communities and the donor agencies in the discourse and the future of Africa's digital economy. And so, um, you know, that aggregate experience brought me to where I am today with Digital Equity Africa. And um, I'm really excited for the future of Africa. I think that now is our time and there are gaps, there's work to be done. Nobody's coming to save us. Uh, we need to rise up even within the um, private sector and take our place in moving the eye of the needle. Well, I mean, the first thing I would say is um, have an open mind because I have seen tech products at launch um, really transform into different products like in six months, right? Do for the market. Don't be so obsessed with your tech product and your app. Oh, my app, my app. I know it costs money, but you have to think about the problem you're trying to solve and whom you're trying to solve it for, right? Once you're able to identify that, then you work backwards. Um, I know that the tech ecosystem is really fluid, and that is probably a prerequisite for innovation as we see it today. But also, there has to be structure somewhere in that. We can't remain fluid, else we cannot scale and become the Microsoft of this world. Um, also, I encourage partnerships. I said something in that. A 40-year-old technology company like Microsoft went ahead to invest into open AI. Who would have thought, right? But just by doing that, that, that corporation is gonna stay relevant for a really long time. So think about partnerships, right? And how you can collaborate with others in instead of pushing your product out there and um, providing solutions, uh, you know. And lastly, I would say, innovation is not about raising money only. Unfortunately, when most companies raise money, they stop innovating, right? Um, you have to think about your ideas and how they're solving the problems. It doesn't always like with raising money or hiring more experts, right? Innovation starts with the mind, the design thinking of it, and then you can now go into execution. Experience, what it means to me is 
failure and learning is rising and falling. You cannot speak to what you haven't been through, right? It's important sometimes to fail. It's important to experience rejection and then you find your true self and your essence, right? When it happens to you, pick it up, pick yourself up. What are the lessons, right? Iterate, read of it and keep moving.